Roger is an NPC in Elden Ring with an early game questline that offers several rewards along with story context to other major characters, such as Ronnie, Fia, and D, Hunter of the Dead, all of which will be covered in this guide. As usual, useful timestamps can be found in the video description. First off, Roger's quest will have been entirely skipped if you've already met Ronnie at her rise in Northwest Lyurnia. This guide will be organized from a starting point that is before defeating Margit the Fell Omen. That being said, there will still be plenty of useful bits of information for players that are not following this guide to the letter. The first place you can meet Roger is right outside the Margit boss fight. He can be summoned there as a cooperator to help take down the Fell Omen. Next, we'll head to Roger's optional location in Stormvale Castle, which I recommend visiting. If you already defeated Godric the Grafted, Roger won't be at this location, and you may want to skip to the timestamp following the Godric boss fight. After defeating Margit, find and speak with Gatekeeper Gestalt near the Stormvale main gate, then make your way through Stormvale Castle until reaching the Liftside Chamber Site of Grace. Head out the east exit, then move south across the courtyard and into the large tower. There's a grafted scion that you can either fight or run past before continuing on your way. If you choose to explore this area, you can also find a Mimic's Veil along with a Crimson Hood which is identical to the one worn by Roderica and increases vigor by one point. You'll eventually reach a church-like structure, and I'd recommend defeating the banished knights outside, otherwise they'll most likely follow you into the church, putting both yourself and more importantly Roger at risk. After defeating them, head inside the church to find Roger. And again, if you already defeated Godric, then Roger will have moved on to Roundtable Hold, otherwise you can speak with him and learn about his past, as well as purchase his Spellblade sorceries. As a bonus, if you spoke with Gatekeeper Gestalt earlier, you may just find him creeping around on the rooftop right above Roger's position. Next, Godric the Grafted will need to be defeated. Before doing that, I recommend finding Nefeli. She's in a chamber to the south of the secluded cell site of Grace. While it's not that big a deal, if you speak with Nefeli there until she agrees to help you fight Godric, then you'll be able to get an arsenal charm from her later on. This will also let you summon Nefeli to aid you in the fight against Godric the Grafted. Once you've defeated Godric, Melina will invite you to Roundtable Hold if she hasn't already done so. You should be able to find Roger by the balcony, sitting in a chair. If he's not there, it may be necessary to speak with everyone at the round table, including Gideon, and then sit at the round table to reload the game. Once you can find Roger, go and tell him you defeated Godric. You'll be rewarded with Roger's Rapier, pre-upgraded to plus 8, and loaded with the Glint Blade Phalanx Ash of War. To trigger the next step of Roger's quest, we'll need to visit the corpse beneath Stormvale Castle. Starting from the liftside chamber, take the lift up, then proceed along a somewhat hidden path. As a quick tip in case you didn't know, you can sprint by holding the dodge roll button while running, and doing that will add significant distance to your jumps. Once you reach a gold message on the ground, turn to the south and make your way down to a lower area of the castle. Before continuing on, make sure to open the shortcut door to the east, leading back to the lift side chamber. Next, you'll need to carefully make your way down through the platforming section to reach a pit area infested with giant rats. Thank you. 
head south and get the treasure scarab along the way to obtain the Ranker Call sorcery. Then continue forward and drop down to an even lower pit. Here, you'll be attacked by an ulcerated tree spirit, and I'm not sure if defeating it is actually necessary, but that's what I did. And you'll get a golden seed for your effort. There's also a stone sword key to pick up in this area. In any case, run south down the tunnel to find a grotesque looking face. And witnessing this face is required as part of Roger's quest. You can pick up the Prince of Death's Pustule Talisman nearby, and there's also a bloodstain that reveals how Roger ended up in his current state at Roundtable Hold. Turn about and find the very tall ladder to climb out of the pit. Afterwards, return to Roger at Roundtable Hold and ask him about the corpse under Stormvale Castle. If you want, you can also ask Roger about D, Hunter of the Dead, and vice versa. After asking Roger about the corpse under Stormvale, head over to Fia. After agreeing to be held, you should be able to speak in secret with Fia and go through a series of dialogue choices regarding a black knife print and its whereabouts. At the end, she'll give you a drawn map showing its location. If it's your first time allowing Fia to hold you, the appropriate dialogue options might not show up. In that case, just rest at the table to reload the game and then try again. In the worst case scenario, even if that interaction gets skipped over, you can still get the knife print to progress Roger's quest. It's located in Northeast Lyurnia within Black Knife Catacombs. To get there, head north from the Eastern Lyurnia Lakeshore, up past the Church of Vows, and up the path on the east side of the Ruined Labyrinth. Now the knife print is actually dropped by a secret second boss in these catacombs. To reach it, starting from the Site of Grace, head down the west staircase and continue along the path until reaching a room filled with a series of guillotine traps. You'll need to ride on one of those blades to reach the floor above. Then make your way down to the end of that path and hit a false wall that is hiding the boss room. Inside, you'll need to defeat a Black Knife Assassin to acquire the Black Knife print along with the Assassin's Cerulean Dagger Talisman. Return to Roundtable Hold and show Roger the knife print, allowing him to hold on to it for further study. Reload the game and speak with Roger again, going through all of his new dialogue he should task you with seeking out Ronnie the Witch in Northwest Lyurnia. Travel through the lake to the far northwest of Lyurnia to get to Caria Manor. You'll then need to make your way through Caria Manor to reach Ronnie's Rise. From the manor lower level site of Grace, head out the southeast archway and continue along the inner castle walls until reaching the upper level. Once at the upper manor level, it's a short distance to reach the Royal Moongazing Grounds where you'll need to defeat Royal Knight Loretta to progress. In doing so, you'll get the Loretta's Great Bow Sorcery and Loretta's Slash Ash of War. Afterwards, head out the northwest exit and make your way over to meet with Ronnie. Because Roger sent you, Ronnie will treat you poorly and tell you to be gone. To fix that, head back to Roundtable Hold and speak with Roger about the encounter. 
In response, Roger will tell you to serve Ronnie to earn her trust, and at that point you can return to Ronnie and start her quest. Before you're able to leave the Rise, you'll need to go downstairs and speak with Ronnie's allies, e.g. Blyde and Celibus. Afterwards, you can return to Ronnie and speak with her. Following that, if you reload the game, you'll notice that she has gone into a deep slumber, and you should also be able to fast travel once again. Return to Roger at Roundtable Hold and speak through all of his new dialogue. Upon reloading the game, you'll find Roger in an unresponsive state. To finish Roger's questline, you'll need to try speaking with him and then reload the game, and you'll need to do that a total of three times. After the third time, reload the game and Roger will have dropped his bell bearing along with his spellblade armor set, which strengthens Glintstone's sorcery weapon skills. In addition, you'll also get Roger's letter, which tells you about Dee's brother and his approximate location. This is more relevant to Fia's questline, which I cover in a separate guide video. Even if you've already started Ronnie's quest and therefore skipped over Roger's quest, you should still be able to find Roger unresponsive at Roundtable Hold, and even get his armor set by interacting with him and reloading the game a few times. As a final optional step, you can talk in secret with Fia about Roger. If you don't see the dialogue option, reload the game and try again. Doing this will get you a sacrificial twig along with some unique dialogue pertaining to Fia and Roger. And that's about it for Roger's questline. I'll flip through the stats and descriptions of all the items and rewards covered in this video and feel free to pause it if you want to get a better look at anything. If you're still having trouble with this quest, you can reach out in the comments section where I'll do my best to help, and I also recommend checking the comment I have pinned as I'll be updating it with information about specific problems people are having and potential solutions. I'm working on guides for all the quests in Elden Ring. If you want to find those, you can head over to my channel, and if you're new, consider subscribing. You're helping me feed my cat, her name's Marshmallow. Also, the Marshmallow merch store is now live over on the channel, and it features professional Elden Ring-inspired artwork of your favorite fluffball. Have a great day, if you're here today, have a great Wednesday, and as always, thanks for watching.